All right, so uh, this is my uh, my first quadcopter that I've built. Uh, I got uh, most of the parts from uh, Hobby King. Um, propellers, motors, the actual frame, uh, the flight controller, APM 2.6. Um, I got the telemetry as well, the uh, GPS module, and also the uh, the power um, adapter as well um, that hooks up uh, so you can have uh, voltage onto your telemetry and stuff. Um, other than that, I just uh, added a few things, uh, just like the boxes and stuff, and just some coverings for the wires and a few other little things that I've added. Um, as time progressed, you know, just trying to eliminate some of the things, you know, the twitches and things like that. Um, other than that, I, I've flown it a few times, um, just working out the, uh, the twitches out of it and stuff. It's getting better and better as it goes. I'll have some uh, some videos of it flying. Um, the only thing is uh, it's winter right now where we are, so. Uh, be able to do any much flying. I, don't, I really don't want it in the snow and uh, snow get inside the motors and things just starting to rust and stuff. Okay, so this is it. Um, so the motors are mm, just the Hobby King motors, uh, propellers. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the uh, the parts in detail uh, a little bit later. Um, just got some some wire coverings. And stuff like that. Uh, just basically everything's just strapped on there. I'm actually using a uh, Futaba radio uh, nine channel, uh, but the receiver is only a uh, eight channel. I'm using uh, only seven channels of it. Um, and basically, just got it plugged in there. Um, Twenty-two hundred uh, milliamp power battery. Uh, Twenty. Uh, 20 amp ESCs. I know everybody recommends really high uh, ESCs and stuff, but I really found no use for really high up. I, I kind of, you know, throttled it up full for quite a while and nothing. It, they don't get hot or even warm at all, so I don't know. I haven't had any issues with that. Um, mm -hmm. Other than that, it just, as usually, just like everybody else, they just strap uh, everything on with, with ties. Um, you know, they're easier to come off and uh, if you need to adjust things. I haven't shortened all the wires or anything like that, just kind of at first, just wanted to strap everything on and just kind of give it a go. Um, so practically I just purchased all, everything, uh, I'd say, uh, just two weeks ago or so, and uh, didn't take too long to build, uh, probably a half hour to put together, less than that, um, with building the, the power cables as well. I basically just got the uh, connectors and just soldered them together. Um, I can show that probably demonstration at some point. I'm going to take it apart and just go through it and just kind of help out some people if they're having some difficulties with, with theirs as well. And some of the things I did, probably the um, most important things, I uh, put some ferrite on the, on the wires uh, just to basically absorb some of the interference. Um, you can see a huge one on there, uh, and actually that helps a lot too, so I'll show some of those in detail as well. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, some of the boxes here, box, uh, you know, where the APM is in, kind of butchered it up a little bit, just I, uh, I cut it with the Dremel, and, uh, and then I got the telemetry box on the side here, with the little antenna. Um, yeah, so that's, that's it. Uh, I I've, I don't have any experience in RC at all, so everything I've learned has been practically within the past like month. I have a strong electronic background, but not any uh, any RC at all. I kind of just had an idea of how everything works, so it was a you know learning experience. I just kind of sat down a few days just to figure everything out, how the radio works, how to set everything up, uh, you know voltages and stuff like that, requirements. Uh, you know, learning about lipos, and I actually had to learn everything from scratch. Like I said, I had no idea about any of these. So, um, you know, for anybody else who's getting into it, it's not that difficult at all. Don't get intimidated. Uh, you know, putting it together and that, it's a lot easier. 
um, probably the most difficult part would be just setting it up on the computer with all the options and you know just learning everything what everything is actually for and what options are uh, you know but options change what um, so well that's yeah that's that's about it um, at some point yeah, I'll just I'll just go through it and uh, you know just kind of show a little bit of, of some of the things so I put everything together the parts the wire coverings and things like that uh, I thought it'd be a great idea because I actually did flip it a couple times a few times three or four and uh, uh, you know I'm surprised how strong it, this is actually uh, it hit the ceiling twice in the house I was playing with it uh, you know not having much experience uh, you know just kind of twitched a little bit on the throttle and just hit the ceiling bounced all over the place but uh, you know surprisingly nothing happened to it um, the only thing is actually the wires just ripped off the uh, the telemetry there uh, they just came right off uh, and I had to uh, just practically uh, just solder them back on and uh, you know they kind of the jack ripped a little bit it broke but uh, I just glued it back on so it's all good for now uh, I'll probably order another one at some point uh, but it, it's good it's uh, you know it's actually really tough I'm surprised that it, it, like I said it hit the ceiling twice bounced off the counter and another time I flipped it into the air at, originally I didn't have any of the ferrites on and the, the sensor inside wasn't covered either um, and actually there it's extremely sensitive I know a, a, a lot of videos out there of people just showing how sensitive they are and even to wind so it actually I was, I was hovering at some point it just did a flip upside down just out of, the, out of nowhere so things like that are uh, you know I was looking at the computer at the telemetry and it does get glitches and uh, you know a little bit of air going up and down on the barometer and everything else and the radio so the more you try and work those out the better it is the more stable flight you have so I noticed some of the ferrite um, rings that I've added actually made a very big difference.